I spoke to Louis recently. Obviously, I call, I literally called him before he was going for his first ever uh, X Factor judging session. Oh my god, it's um, I wish I called him after actually because I'd love to have known what was going on. But it must be so exciting. I mean, I can't really imagine, um, and I don't know what I'd be like as a judge. I think he makes a very good judge, if I'm honest. Yeah, what qualities has he got for it? Um, well, I will say this: like within the band, and uh, when we kind of started out, he made a lot of different decisions in terms of. You know, when we when we sign five sauce and different things like that and 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 he always has these little ideas and stuff and I don't know he just sees things in certain people and also he did a whole thing for this girl band where he was auditioning and stuff so he's something he's done before but I know he has that that in him it's, and it'll be interesting to see I mean it's a very varied panel this year yeah, I will say that it's, what do you think of it I just want to see, I want to see how how and why it works I'm sure there's a story of how and why it works <laughs> like I've, I've been I've been meaning to ask Simon actually because <laughs> it's not something that as the as the general public I don't think we really put it all together and we're a kind of a little bit like I don't really get it as much but I think like I say I I, I genuinely think it'll be some sort of story that um uh, that Simon was probably out with Robbie and his missus somewhere and yeah. just saw them together and was like this is magic that needs to be on TV so I think it's going to be great definitely yeah. she wears the trousers in that relationship too Hey everybody, it's me here. I am taking over GQ Instagram tonight at the VMA. So uh, make sure you tune in and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Hi guys, it's Liam here and we are going to find out who's been in my mystery mentions. Now, Horan, at real underscore Liam underscore Payne was my old Twitter, which is super cool and really not long to type. You're the something man. The ice man? Pooh man? The Pooh man? Dude. WTF? Why'd you come back at if someone calls you the Pooh Man? From Mr. Harry Styles himself, Liam Payne, it's your birthday, you're 18, you can do things that you couldn't before, like buy alcohol, or look at <laughs> magazines or something. Clubs and belly buttons, I've really misjudged you, I'm sorry. Liam Payne is seriously the most underappreciated hot person in history, like why doesn't he get more credit? I don't understand. I was saying to me random like Cristiano Ronaldo or someone, I don't know who it was from. From Halsey! That's interesting. Um, Liam Chain, who is this from? I don't even know. Louis Tomlinson. He's telling me, yeah, I've got one right. Yes. Level 10,000. I, I feel like I remember some sort of story behind something like this. Your dad, level 10,000. Yes, I did remember that, and I did actually see that one. Thank you, Ashton. Best boyfriend ever. It's from Dua Lipa. Michael! Ah, damn, I wish it was Dua Lipa. How's the weather? Jiggings. Oh, okay, I get this one. We had like these, the, you have those joggers that look like jeans. And I had some on and that, that I got ripped for it and this is what there was. I was. Apparently I was wearing leggings, so. Damn, dog. Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg seems to be talking about me a lot these days. Could be Snoop Dogg. Zed! Oh man, Zed! Zed, you love. So proud of, of what you're doing right now. It's gotta be Rita Ora. James Corden? I thought it was riff off, I thought, because me and Rita always have that little bit in for you where there's like a little, ha, we're trying to like fill a little bit of time in the song because there's an instrumental break. And there's nothing more awkward than being stood on stage at instrumental break time, so we do a little thing. That was my mysterious mentions, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Hi guys, I am Liam and this is my Behind the Tweets. No bullsh... percentage mark star T. You're the best fans on the planet. Dot, dot, dot. Enough said. I'm just saying how good my fans are, because it's true. No bull percentage mark star T. True story. Are you not reading what I'm saying? It's a snake habitat, turn around. But it's a snake habitat, turn around. The capital letters. Um, basically, I was looking out of a window in Australia, and I'd been for a walk outside. There's a big field, and it says, snake habitat, do not enter. I'm like, okay, Australia, snakes, serious business. Don't want to get bitten by a snake. Next thing I can see is fans like bounding towards me way down the field, like through said snake habitat. Don't come was the first tweet, like don't come through the field like I can see you. And then they just carried on coming. I'm like, you're not reading what I'm saying. There are snakes and you could possibly die. And that would not be a good day out. Hashtag eight years of One Direction. What an incredible eight years it's been with my brothers. Thank you to all the fans that are still supporting and following our journeys. Love, LP. Um, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. It's the eight year anniversary of the band. What an amazing eight years um, it has been so far. So many more. This is one of my personal favorites of, of, of me. I don't know what was going on. It's 8, 10 p.m. on the 5th of the 25th, 13th. The date's backwards because it's American, that's what it is. We're English, we do it the other way. Nobody knows why, but we all do it differently. It's 8, 10 p.m. and I decided I'm a fancy candle. 
there's a lot of room in life to, to feel like many things. And at that point, I was a fancy candle. Let's be serious. First time, 24 for the 8th, 18. Which is, that's how we write it in England, the date. As earlier discussed, for the confusion, you just switch those two and then it's yours. That's when I've got a little EP coming out, so be sure to go and check all four tracks out. Thank you for my uh, behind the tweets. I hope you enjoyed that. You hang clean, poor. Five and five. Why is the music so sad for? Why is the music so sad for? Hope you guys enjoy the record. Hi guys, I'm Liam. This is the TGIF playlist on Spotify. Listen to my single first time right here. Hey, it's Liam here. Thanks for calling. Do you want to hear some of my new EP? Here's a little bit of first time. Well, I hope you like it. Call me back tomorrow to hear more. First time EP is out this Friday. Get ready. What's up? I am Liam. I'm Fresh Montana. Our new single, First Time, First time. is out right now. It's taken from my EP. Please go and listen on Spotify now. All you have to do is listen. Open your ears. Hi everybody. Are you enjoying my uh, EP this morning? Thank you so much for all your lovely comments and trends and stuff. And um, I look forward to seeing how it does, man. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Bonjour, it's Liam here. Uh, please swipe up to this to my brand new single. Featuring Mr. French Montana, it's called First Time. I always pick up on the first time. Oh, hey. I've been hoping you would check on me. Hi, everybody in Australia. Um, I can't wait to come down and see you guys. I hope you enjoy this brand new EP that I've got for you. And I'll see you soon. Ash London Live. Hi guys, it's Liam. I'm going to be on Capital uh, bringing you my new song, First Time.
still in the park, still in the bay. Park, Central Park. We're hanging out. How are we feeling? Feeling good. I'm feeling good. Music video is happening again. It's the second one this week. It's a lot. In Central Park. Enough said, really. It's a nice day. Hi everybody, I am taking over stories tonight at the VMA. So tune in to see some great performances uh, and let's find out what really goes down in the VMAs. Hi everybody, hope you're enjoying my uh, EP this morning. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments and trends and stuff. And um, I look forward to seeing how it does, man, thank you.